Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to read a story. So let's read with Teacher Lim. Are you ready? The title of the story is "What Will You Play?" The author of the stories are Hasmar Afandi and Elvira Novianti Khan. Oh no! I lost cell service again. Mom, the mobile signal is lost again. Kaka complains. There are lots of other things to play. Answers Mom. Come play with us, Kaka. Dewi, Kaka's cousin, says to her. So Dewi is inviting Kaka to play with her. But Kaka enjoys playing with her cell phone. The problem is the signal here in Patipuf, Dewi's house, is not always good. So if we look at the picture, we can see that Kaka even goes to the balcony to find signal. She really wants to play her cell phone. Maybe I can get it if I go upstairs. But still, the signal is too weak for her to play her favorite game. And then, Kaka notices the noises from the field across the street. Hmm, what are those kids doing? She wonders. So, based on the picture, how many kids can you see, boys and girls? Yes, we can see eight children are playing in the field. Kaka, come play with us. Dewi invites her. Kaka is not really interested, but she heads to the field anyway. Why do you think she heads to the field, even though she doesn't like? Because she thinks that maybe. There will be a stronger signal there. So actually, Kaka is still wanting to play her phone. What are you playing? Kaka asks the kids as she arrives in the field. Kaka recognizes the marble game, but she has no clue what the circle is for. This is how you play it. A boy explains to her. First, you put all marbles inside the circle. You then decide who will be the first player through rock, paper, scissor. From this line, we use the marbles to hit the marbles inside the circle as hard as we can. Any marbles that leave the circles will belong to the player who threw the marble. Hmm, this is interesting. Kaka wants to give it a try. So does Kaka make it? Aha! She made it. Now Kaka wants to try the other game. Would you like to play the pole game? Asks another girl. One group of the players guards the line, while the rest tries to break through. Oh, Kaka knows the game. This is called Gobat Sodor in Jakarta. She replies. Or, you can play Sipak Tekong with us. Another boy offers. Tekong means can. All you need to do is kick this pile of rocks and cans as hard as you can. So, boys and girls, do you ever try to kick a can before? Can you kick the can far?
How about playing jump rope? Debbie offers. I know jump rope, but why do you have two ropes? Kaka wonders. Kaka has to try this. So Kaka try to jump two ropes at the same time. Uh oh. It's harder to jump over two ropes at a time. So this might be the first time Kaka tries to play jump rope with two ropes. So that's why she fell down. But from her face, we can see that she is still happy. It's almost dark. Now, it is time to go home. These games are really fun. Kaka can't wait to play them all again tomorrow. So that's the end of the story. Boys and girls, do you miss the feeling of playing outside? I know that nowadays we always need to stay home because of COVID-19. Let us pray together that this pandemic is going to end soon and then we can meet again and play outside in the field. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the stories. So this story is brought to you by the Asia Foundation. Let's read program. If you are interested, you can visit www.letsreadasia.org. Thank you.